Actually, A it's A2 is good enough also. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, I mean, this is a... I don't know how I'm supposed to look at this match. Obviously, a big congrats to Ding for winning. I mean, I feel bad for Nepo, but on the other hand, Nepo has so many chances to win. Nepo had so many chances to win this, and he didn't win. So, you want, I want to feel bad for him, but at the same time, yeah, and that's it. It's over. That's it. So, yeah, Dean gets the win by a final score of 2.5 to 1.5. I mean, Nepo obviously going to be very angry about this, considering the chances he had. I mean, I think his big mistake, uh, the big mistake was right here. Right here, he played queen f5. Just one wrong move here, and that was the difference between a draw and a loss. If he had played h4 and stopped c4, I don't think there's any chance he loses here. But on the other hand, I'd also say, frankly, as far as Nepo is concerned, he tried too hard to push this at this point when he could have just traded and made the draw like this. He was still trying to trying to win this game um, rather than playing to the odds at this point, and that was the mistake. Um, Jan is raging. Of course he's raging. I'd be raging too. Every, I mean, of course. Yeah. The ma dois is f4, no? Ai, que tenso. Spf4, jogou, e agora vai ter que abandonar o Nepo, infelizmente. Joga o Spf4, olha no lance ali. Abandonou, abandonou. Nossa, abandonou. Que... Temos um novo campeão mundial. Bispo F4, abandonou a Yana, então me acha, ele levanta, cumprimenta ali o Jing. Ai, nossa, será que vai chorar? Vou chorar aqui com ele. Coloca... <risos> <risos> Vamos ver aqui o Jing maior. Nossa, ficou ali. Não, que não chore, eu vou chorar aqui. <risos> eu também. <risos> Nossa. Caramba, ca saiu cinco toneladas ali das costas do Ding, né? Nossa, eu vou chorar aqui. Que momento. É uma Nossa, ele, 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 ele ganhou com o Torre X6, né? Tipo... Nossa, pra, parecia impossível ele seguir jogando aquela posição. Nossa. Coragem que ele mostrou ali. Dava medo naquela posição. E, de repente, ele tá jogando pra ganhar e o Nepo não conseguiu se reajustar ali. De repente, quando viu, já tava perdido. Ainda conseguiu lutar como podia ali o Nepo, mas o Jing não perdoou. Que é, performance não, do Kirill que que do, do, do Jing aqui, né? Essa partida. Que final, hein? Tinha que ser, <risos> tinha que ser desse jeito. Nossa, eu não tô acreditando no que aconteceu. Menos vai que tiraram ele dali, porque eu ia começar a chorar aqui. Com Sim, cara. nossa senhora, ele... Para aquela coisa, né, de, de sentir o um momento. Nossa, que lindo isso. Tão único, né, tudo que ele... Do jeito que ele chegou ainda, né, no candidato, ele foi em segundo lugar, né, nem sabia se ia jogar o Mundial ou não ia, né, o Carlson desistiu nesse meio tempo, ele virou o desafiante aí do Nepo e começou de um jeito tão difícil pro Ding, né, o Mundial. A primeira partida ele tava totalmente fora, assim, deu para perceber, ele perdeu a segunda jogando muito mal, jogou mal as duas primeiras, tava... Ah, Confessou, teve isso, né? né? Confessou Faz que ele tava mal. Já, né? Nossa. <risos> Nossa, como que chegou nisso? E ele, ele confessou, se abriu, ele falou que tava muito nervoso, que tava tendo é, é, lembranças, pensamentos, assim, né? Ele, é raro a gente ver isso, né? O cara se abrir e falar o que, que ele tava sentindo nas primeiras rodadas, né? Ele falou isso nas coletivas de imprensa e deu a volta por cima, hein? Just one and it's over. And it's on the board! Oh my goodness. And Yana Pomsky, he Pomsky. sits up in his chair, but he knows this might be the last few moves of his world championship. Oh my god. Stop it. Oh, you see it. He, and he, he gets knows. Up. He knows it. Yeah, Bishop takes that four is easy. Heartbreaking. It's over. Ding Luren is the world chess champion. Wow. He has made history as the first Chinese player to win the World Championship. We see handshakes that Ding is overtaken by emotions. He isn't able to leave the board. And for Yan Nepomnishi, a heartbreaking moment there. He leaves the hall. This has been a fight of courage, of grit and determination. And all of that has paid off for Ding Liren. Take a moment and admire Ding right now. What a match this has been and a deserving victory for Ding Liren. He shouldn't even have been here, right? To get to the candidates, he had someone had to uh, be removed. He 
then enter the fray by playing 30 games in a month. Then he goes to the candidates. He gets second place. Magnus Carlsen has to step aside, has to abdicate the throne. And then he gets into this match. We see the final score, two and a half, one half in tie breaks. But he was trailing in the match until game 12. I cannot believe it, but Dingley Ren, a deserving world champion. Yeah, he got so justly rewarded by playing Rook to G6. Uh, not many people would have played Rook G6 there. I think that's really the critical moment in the game. I mean, there's only one move that we have to talk about when we talk about this. And it almost feels unfair that Jan, uh, you know, when it was such an equal match, he just doesn't have any chances at the end. I'm sure he feels like uh, I was so close and uh, and just like one, you know, one move away from winning this match. But Ding, Rook G6, it's a brilliant, brilliant move, brilliant uh, courage to play that move. And he yeah, played that with just a minute and 23 seconds on the clock. Rook G6 was truly a moment of bravery and courage. And it really did. He really did get rewarded with this. Playing it on a minute when he had the repetition, when he had the option to get into Blitz. This was amazing, fantastic chess that we saw. I'm still getting... Oh, that check. Que final emocionante. A dois! Jogado pelo Dingirin. Que loucura! Ameaçando promover... Inacreditável, praticamente um arremate. Não dá mais. Vai abandonar o Nepo, não dá mais. Fim de jogo, ainda jogou o último lance, bispo por F4. Isso por F4 não dá mais. Simples assim, vai abandonar aqui o russo. Ding Liren, muito próximo. Ding Liren, campeão do mundo, galera. Que loucura, surpreendendo a muita gente, Ding Liren. Campeão do mundo 2023, a paciência chinesa, a paciência chinesa. Há muitos anos atrás ele falou, preciso esperar o Carl sem cansar. Está de parabéns, Jigliren, está de parabéns, Nepominiati. Jogaram um dos matches mais bonitos do xadrez moderno. Um dos matches mais bonitos entra para a história. Vitória de Jigliren aqui nesse Mundial. Um final emocionante aqui, impressionante. Impressionante, o Ding Liren que chegou tímido, chegou inseguro, achando que estava com problema mental. Ele achou que ele tinha problema mental, ele estava ansioso, ele estava preocupado, não estava conseguindo jogar, travou. E ele se superou, galera. Isso aqui é uma história de superação. O Ding Liren que começou tímido e nas últimas entrevistas falou que não queria que acabasse esse Mundial. Ele falou que ele queria que tivesse mais rodadas. Ele que, ele que parecia não querer estar ali, terminou o, o Mundial querendo mais. É uma história de superação maravilhosa aqui que a gente acompanha. Ding Liren, tá de parabéns, tá de parabéns. O dragão chinês levantou. O dragão chinês levantou. Um match histórico, um match histórico. Muito emocionante. I must say, uh, I mean, we saw things. Mm -hmm. But this, like, Rook just things played, uh, playing in, in this situation was like yes. one of the most impressive moves I've seen in my life. It really it's is. Just, yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like the decision that makes you the world champion. It's not like, yeah, it's not that, you know, somehow Jan didn't try, you know, in these yeah. games. He obviously did. But it's just like at this particular moment, Black was the one who was presented with his choice, right? Yeah, but also it's not that it's even good. That's what makes it so cool. Like Black is not better after Rook G6. It's right. not that it's a good move. But he move. continues it's the game. Yeah, I mean it's exactly. Good from that point of yeah, view. I mean exactly. I mean being, uh, I mean he was trailing a minute. Easier to play for White. He like preferred to play. Yes. I must and say. And that's a champion's move. Yeah, I mean I'm not sure if it's wise, mm -hmm. but it's like certainly unbelievably brave. It is very brave. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? It's funny because at the end of the 14th game, I think it was the 14th or was the 13th or something when we were talking, should he play King E6 or not, you know. Yeah. And that would have been, I think, also like kind of like, you know, he could have tried it. It was not a bad idea. Yeah. Um, and he didn't, you know, he just didn't have that, you know, um, ability to push himself at that moment, even yeah. though, again, that was also not a winning move, but it was a try. Yeah. But, here, but here he did something that he wasn't able to do at that, at that game. Yeah. First of all, I wanted to thank the World Chess Federation FIDE for inviting me here. Um, you know, it's been a long time since I've done in-person commentary, like years and years. And I was certainly very excited by this opportunity just to be a part of this historic match. Um, and I'm so glad that I came here to Astana. So thank you to FIDE uh, for giving us a chance to be first-hand witnesses of 
um, you know, one of the most exciting events. I think this will be a match that people will certainly remember. And the other thing is I want to thank the players, you know, because their efforts. Um, you know, these guys are putting everything, uh, you know, into the, into the game for these weeks. I mean, we see, you know, ourselves, what toll it takes on them. You know, we were talking about, you know, how many uh, years of their life, you know, they may lose from this. Yeah, it's, exactly. it's, hard, it's hard to estimate. Like, we truly don't know. Guys, so what we're seeing is not, you know, it's not just two guys like showing up and like putting some pieces on the board. This is like, you know, I mean, you're, you know, their heart and soul going into this for weeks. And I mean, they showed themselves to be incredible fighters. They gave the chess world, you know, um, a great present. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, get, I get even emotional like, yeah, thinking I mean, about what a, I saw. Yeah, exactly. No, I mean, it's tough. I mean, I get it. No, no, it takes a lot of like bravery to actually, like basically for them, it's like their lives at stake in these rapid games. And they're like both under one minute, and this is where it decides. It decides, you know. I mean, it's yeah. It's kind of tough. Yeah. Dois, yeah. Tá and dois, okay. F4, okay. E são muitos passados aqui. Vai abandonar. O Ding está calculando. A dois é o filho. Jogou a dois o Ding. Vai ser campeão do mundo no dia de hoje. Ai, ai, ai! Completamente inacreditável. A guerra. Isso aqui foi uma guerra. Calculando 20 segundos no relógio, tem mate forçado, já tá marcando a... O Nepo vai até o mate, hein? Bispo toma F4. Lutando pela vida, ainda o Nepo pra tentar sal salvar o Mundial. Abandonou! Abandonou a partida! Ting Liren, campeão mundial de xadrez do ano de 2023! Jing Liren é o nome dele, arrebata o mundo, o mundo é dele, de... ai, ai, ai. Jing Liren campeão do mundo, inacreditável. Isso aqui foi uma guerra, uma guerra, ele arrebatou. Ah! 